We begin today with a new twist in the 17-year-old legal battle between oil giant Chevron and the residents of the Ecuadorian Amazon, who say decades of reckless oil drilling have taken a deadly toll on their health and their environment. They accuse Texaco, now Chevron, of dumping over 18 billion gallons of toxic waste into the rainforest, and Chevron now faces a $27.3 billion lawsuit. An article in the latest issue of The Atlantic magazine reveals how a private a private investigation firm hired by Chevron tried to recruit an American journalist to undermine the high-profile lawsuit. According to the first-person account of Mary Cudahy, the investigative firm Kroll flew her to Colombia and offered her $20,000 to spend six weeks in Lago Agrio, the jungle town in Ecuador where the trial is being held. They wanted her to say she was an independent journalist while spying for Chevron and find out if the plaintiffs in the lawsuit had rigged a health study that found the community suffered abnormally high cancer rates. But Mary Cudahy said no. She refused the offer to become a corporate spy. The article is called A Spy in the Jungle, and Cudahy writes, quote, there was a reason they wanted me. With one Google search, anyone could see that I was, in fact, a journalist. If I went to Lago Agrio as myself and pretended to write a story, no one would suspect that the starry-eyed young American poking around was actually shilling for Chevron. Well, we invited Chevron to come on the program, but they declined. Chevron spokesman Kent Robertson did, however, not directly address Mary Cudahy's claims, but acknowledged hiring Kroll. Robertson said in a statement to Democracy Now! that, quote, it should come as no surprise that we have hired an outside investigative firm to help document the fraud being perpetrated by the plaintiff's lawyers and their associates in this case. There are now numerous documented examples of falsified expert reports, fraudulent evidence, unsubstantiated health claims, and collusion with court experts, he wrote. Well, Mary Cudahy is based in Mexico City. She joins me now via Democracy Now! video stream. Uh, we welcome you to Democracy Now!, Mary Cudahy. We are also joined um, uh, in the studios in San Francisco um, by Han Shun, coordinator of the Clean Up Ecuador campaign at Amazon Watch. But, Mary, let's begin with you. Why don't you explain what happened, how you were approached by, well, Kroll hired by Chevron? Right. Well, you know, as I wrote in my story, I was in Cancun. You know, I'm a freelance reporter, and I was in Cancun working on another story. And, you know, it was kind of the typical thing where I was writing for a magazine that has a low budget and, you know, I seemed like I was barely going to break even on a story and I was sort of despairing about the state of journalism. And then I got this phone call, you know, it was kind of like magic and I found out about this job. And so I, I went back to Mexico City and I got in touch with someone from Kroll and they, um, they didn't want to speak too much over the phone. So they offered to fly me out to Bogota for the weekend. And so I was, um, I, I showed up at this, you know, kind of luxury hotel and spent a weekend being briefed on the case. And that was, that was how I, I first found out about the, the job. Who spoke to you? What did they say? Well, they told me about, um, they, they, to, they spoke about the details of the case. I mean, they gave me the background. You know, when, when I first found out about it, I, 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 I knew almost nothing. I basically went to Bogota sight unseen. And, you know, they, they just kind of briefed me on the background of the case, and they told me what, what they would want me to do. And Which, what exactly did they tell you? Um, they told me, um, you, they told, everything that's in my story is basically, you know, what I was told. I was told about this um, health study that Chevron suspected had um, been done, that there was fraud done uh, in this health study, and they wanted me to go down to Lago Audio and kind of investigate who had done the interviews and whether there had been collusion between the Spanish human rights activists who had conducted the health study and the plaintiffs in, in, in that study. And you were to say you were who? I was to say that I was myself. And that was ultimately the reason that I couldn't do it. You know, I. I didn't think that I was being asked to do anything illegal at any point. I just felt that if I went down to Lago Agrio and was, you know, investigating, doing an investigation for Chevron and, you know, acting as a journalist, um, I felt that I was walking into territory that, as a journalist, I wouldn't be able to come back from. And that was ultimately why I had to say no. The person who recruited you, Mary, you called him Sam in the piece? 
I did. Tell us who he was and how he I, identified with you. Um, well, you know, it's, <laughs> I, he, as I wrote in the story, you know, um, the, the people that I met from Kroll were, were very friendly and upfront and we kind of all got along. They were very nice. And, you know, we went out to dinner and we kind of, we went dancing the first night I was there and it was a kind of, you know, very kind of warm and welcoming atmosphere. And, you know, I didn't feel at any time that I was being, um, I wasn't being lied to or, you know, it, it, nothing like that happened. I felt that they were totally upfront with me. But um, that was, yeah, that was pretty much the extent of it. We're talking to Mary Cudahy, the American journalist who was approached by Kroll. Actually, Mary, tell us the significance of Kroll, what Kroll is. Well, Kroll bills itself as a risk management company. Um, and I think that it's a company, it has, you know, offices all over the world. And at least in the capacity that I was going to be working for them, they do, uh, I it was going to be as a private investigator. And, and were they very clear on exactly how they wanted you to identify yourself when you went down? Yes. What did they say exactly? Well, I would be, and, and you know, this, these were kind of, you know, preliminary talks, so, but I, I, I was going to go down there and be myself, you know, and just say that I was a reporter and, you know, just kind of ask questions and, and, and do the investigation under that you know, premise. Did you meet anyone there or did they tell you about anyone who's doing what they were asking you to do? No. So you would be their first uh, spy posing as a journalist? As far as I know, yes. Let's it, go ahead, it, Mary. I did want to mention, you know, I, I, I noticed the way that the, um, the plaintiff's attorneys have, have kind of seized on my story. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't believe that I was asked to do anything illegal. And I mentioned that because it was a, it was a tough decision to make, honestly because $20,000 is a lot of money for someone in my position. And it did seem like an interesting case. But, I, you know, ultimately I had to say no, because I, I just didn't feel that as a journalist it was something that I could do ethically and then return to journalism. Now, Sam, as you described him, um, uh, the person who was your contact, said, there is no other Mary Cudahy. If you don't do this job, we'll have to find another way. What does that mean? It's unclear. What uh, has been uh, Chevron and Kroll's response to your piece in The Atlantic, A Spy in the Jungle? I've had no response. There's been no, as far as I know, the, the, the response that you just read is the first that I've heard from Chevron or Kroll. Mary Cudahy, anything else you'd like to add on this case and your reflections on it since they asked you to work for them for Kroll working for Chevron in the Amazon rainforest in Ecuador? Well, you know, it was interesting. You know, I was—the the story that was published in The Atlantic was, was originally a proposal. Um, and, you know, I, I, I wanted to go down to Ecuador and actually do the investigation myself. You know, I felt that that was the way that I could kind of, you know, have it, have the best of both worlds. I could still go down to Ecuador and still and, and be a journalist and, you know, do the investigation transparently. And so, I, you know, I sent this proposal to, to the Atlantic and they came back and said, you know, you might see this as a proposal, but we see this as a story. And so at that point, I just said, OK, you know, let's publish it. And, you know, obviously it's not in the cards for me to go down there right now. Mm -hmm. Mary Cudahy, thanks for joining us. She's an American journalist living in Mexico City. Her piece in The Atlantic is called A Spy in the Jungle. When we come back, we'll talk to Han Shun, the coordinator of the Clean Up Ecuador campaign at Amazon Watch. Stay with us.